Pro Football Weekly's Game of the Week. It's the Titans and Texans at AFC South Battle. And guys, the Titans got off to such a good start this year. I think a surprise 3-1 and one before they lost. The Steelers now had their bye week. Do you think that that was a fluke, that good start, or are they legit? I think we saw in the win over the Ravens they can beat good teams. I think Mike Munchak clearly has learned from Jeff Fisher how to steady the ship and, and maybe win without as much talent as other teams. So I'm curious to see, though. I mean, that Steelers game kind of undercut a little bit of what they did. I want to see how they came out of the bye and how they entered this game. Yeah, they spent the bye week getting back back to their basics, running the football. That's clearly going to be uh, the, the ticket for their success for the rest of the season. But I don't think they're a fluke. They can only beat the opponents on their schedule. And I think if they get Chris Johnson involved, get them going, I think this is a team with enough talent to stick around for a while. Yeah, they've done it so far with that pass attack. And I think people were surprised that the Titans are throwing it all over. The Texans offense, in the meantime, kind of struggling a little bit since Andre Johnson went down. They've lost both games that he's been out. Mario Williams, we know he's gone for the year. Does this team have the firepower to win this game and compete for a playoff spot? Uh, I think they do. Yeah, I, I think that losing Andre Johnson is big. He could be out a couple more weeks. Losing Mario Williams also huge, obviously, but they've gotten by without him. Defense hasn't been the problem the past few weeks. The real problem has been running the football. Arian Foster has not been getting it done. Granted, that was against the Ravens. No one's been getting it done on the ground against them. And a lot like with the Titans, I think that the Texans, really, they're a team that's going to run the ball first, play action pass, set every, set things up for Shaw, but they got to get going on the ground first. Yeah, Foster just looked a little hesitant the last couple weeks, like maybe that hamstring's still bothering him. And, you know, the blocking up front has to improve, too, and those guys are banged up. Titans clearly the healthier team right now coming out of the bye. Only Chris Hope's the only starter who's really out right now. And the, the Texans, I think, were expected, especially once the Colts went down, Peyton Manning was hurt. The Texans were the ones who were supposed to take control of this division. I don't know if that's the case now. They need to win this game. What do you think? Are they going to do it? A lot of pressure on them this season. We all know what, uh, what ownership feels about Gary Kubiak and having to make the playoffs and win now. However, in this game, I don't think that pressure matters. I think the Titans are the better team, and I think they win by a field goal. I'm with you. I like the Titans, too. I think it's a very even matchup, but I go with the healthier team, as you said, the team coming off the bye, and uh, I think the team that's maybe feeling a little less pressure right now than the Texans, I like the Titans in a close one. At home, too. That's nice. Yeah, yeah it definitely helps. I mean, the Texans, if they're going to be the team that everyone wants them and expects them to be year after year, they have to win games like this. We'll see if they come through. That's a look at our game of the week. For the best coverage of the league, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.